and welcome to my quiz on video games and advertising. I hope you liked the first one. This is quiz number two. So you're going to need a pen or pencil and a notepad or something to write on. And ready? Question one of round one. Which decade was the first electronic computer game created? Was it A, 1940s, B, 1950s, or C, 1960s? Question two. What was the first mobile phone game? Was it A, Snake, B, Space Invaders, or C, Tetris? All fun games. Question number three. Which game sold the most units in the decade of 2010 to 2020? Was it A, Grand Theft Auto V, B, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, or C, Minecraft? I'm sure people have been playing a lot of those games in the lockdown. Question number four. In the US and the UK, what was the gender split for gamers in 2019? Was it A, male 62% and female 38%? B, male 54% and female 46%? Or C, male 73% and female 27%? Question number five. Back in 2014, within its first five months, how much had Kim Kardashian generated in microtransactions on her game Kim Kardashian Hollywood? Was it A, 100 million US dollars, B, 90 million US dollars, or C, 80 million US dollars? One for the GCSE gang there. Question number six. What was the most downloaded mobile game of 2019? Was it A, Subway Surfers, B, Free Fire, or C, Call of Duty Mobile. Question number seven. What is the slogan of the Pokemon franchise? A, Catch the Creatures, B, Go For It, or C, Gotta Catch Em All. Question number eight. One of the famous early games was an electronic simulation of a table tennis match. It was very basic. What was it called? A. Bat and Ball B. Pong or C. Ping Question number 9 What was the PlayStation Vita designed to compete with? Was it A. Nintendo DS B. The Game Boy or C. Game Gear It's one of the A-level media educators, students there Final question this round. Question 10. Which games console has sold the most units? Is it A, PlayStation 4, B, Nintendo Switch, or C, Xbox One? That's the end of that round. Get ready to mark your answers. Right, and ready for the answers. So round one. The first question was, which decade was the first electronic computer game created? And the answer is, A, the 1940s. And question number two was about the first mobile phone game and whether it was A, Snake, B, Space Invaders, or C, Tetris. It was C, Tetris. Snake was very popular though. And question number three was about which game sold the most units in the decade of 2010 to 2020. And it was C, Minecraft. Question number four was about the gender split in the US and the UK for gamers in 2019. And the split was male 54% and female 46%. So that was B. So the gap's closed a little bit on that, um, although it's not, not equal completely yet. Question five was about 2014, the game Kim Kardashian Hollywood, 
and how much it had generated in microtransactions in its first five months? And the answer was A, 100 million US dollars. A lot. Question six was about the most downloaded mobile game of 2019. It was B, Free Fire. Then question seven, the slogan of the Pokemon franchise is of course C, gotta catch them all. The electronic game, which was a simulation of a table tennis match, was called B, Pong. Question number nine, the PlayStation Vita was designed to compete with A, the Nintendo DS. And then the final question of the round, question 10, which has the most units, it was A, PlayStation 4. Right, and ready for round two, advertising. So according to the Haribo slogan, who loves these sweets? Is it A, teenagers, B, kids and grown-ups, or C, children and adults? Nice, easy one to start off there. Question two. Which of these products does the company Tide sell? A. Soap B. Washing powder or C. Surfboards Question number three In May 2020, which global star featured in an advert for Just Eat? Was it A. Snoop Dogg B. Drake or C. Jessie J? It's quite a funny advert Question number four. What was the purpose of the NHS Represent campaign? Was it A, to encourage more people to work for the NHS? B, to get more people to register as organ donors? Or C, to encourage people from black and Asian heritage to donate blood? Question number five. Which of these adverts had the most views on YouTube in 2019? Was it A, Amazon, Not Everything Makes the Cut, B, John Lewis, Excitable Edgar, or C, Apple, Introducing iPhone 11? In the War Trade advert from 2016, what is the name of the main character? Is it A, Alberto, B, Claudia, or C, Asher? Question number seven. Which brand featured an animated version of Audrey Hepburn in, in its adverts? Was it A, Galaxy, B, Cadbury's, or C, Tiffany & Co? It's making me hungry. Question number eight. Approximately how much does advertising cost during Good Morning Britain? A, 1,000 to 2,000 pounds. B, 2,000 to 3,000 pounds or C, 3,000 to 4,000 pounds. Question nine. In the OMO print advert from the 1950s, AQA Jesus C students will know that well, what facial expression is the female character conveying? Is it A, anger, B, surprise, or C, sadness? Final question. Question number 10. Which company features black horses in its adverts? Is it A, Scottish Widows, B, Lloyds Bank, or C, Nationwide? Okay, ready for the answers. Okay, round two, the answers. According to the Haribo slogan, who loves these sweets? Of course, it's kids and grown-ups. Question number two. So the question was, which of these products does the company Tide sell? Of course, it's B, washing powder. And question number three, which global star featured in an advert for Just Eat in 2020? It was A, Snoop Dogg. Question number four. So the purpose of the NHS Represent campaign was to encourage people from black and Asian heritage to donate blood. And question number five, which of these adverts had the most views on YouTube in 2019? 
It was A, Amazon. Not everything makes the cut. The other's popular too though. In the Water Aid advert from 2016, what is the name of the main character? That was for question six. And it was B, Claudia. Question number seven was about the brand that featured an animated version of Audrey Hepburn in their adverts. And it was A, Galaxy. Then question eight about the cost of advertising during Good Morning Britain. It's C, 3,000 to 4,000. It's actually one of the most expensive slots to advertise in. And question number nine was about the OMO print advert from the 1950s. And the facial expression she's conveying is of course B, surprise. And then the final question, which company features black horses in its adverts? It is B, Lloyds Bank. So that's the end of the quiz. I hope you got on well. Let me know what you got. Okay, take care.